The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. Those famous words come from the opening of John's Gospel, which both here at York Minster and in churches and cathedrals around the world we heard read as the climax of the great liturgy of Christmas. It's the climax which tells us how the Word is made flesh. God becomes human and in doing so brings a very particular kind of life and light to this world. And boy, we need a bit of light. It's been a fairly dark year. War has continued in Ukraine throughout the year. War has affected the land that Christians look to and call holy. The world has its great share of darkness that has impacted many lives for many reasons in many places. And yet, says St John, because the Word is made flesh, the light shines in the darkness, and he says the darkness did not overcome it. But what's really important and what we don't quite get when we read this in English is the way that the writer intended it to be heard, which you can see if you look at the original Greek, where he uses a form of the verb which implies that not only did the darkness not overcome the light 2,000 years ago at the first Christmas, but it has still not done so and will not do so. This is God saying, whatever awful things might happen in the world, what sinful things humans might do, they don't get the last word. The message of God at Christmas is that in the cry of a defenseless babe in Bethlehem, something happens that cannot be broken and which ultimately will be triumphant. The darkness isn't going to overcome it. We need to hold on to that as we celebrate Christmas and move into 2024. I wish you a light-filled and very Merry Christmas.